You're not here to give me another amulet, are you? No amulets this time. Just praise for your booking as the new GM. Praise? I will accept. I appreciated that you brought attention to a rivalry that was strong, but that might not be top of mind for more recent viewers. You seem to really care about deeper cuts of WWE history. I do, actually. You can reference rivalries from the past without alienating newer members of the WWE universe. In that case, maybe you'd want to help me with something. I never truly got to settle things with my old friend Nikki Cross. We had a few matches after our time tagging with each other, but we have unfinished business. I gotcha. I'll set up a match for the next Raw. I'm not here to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Raw not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War Games! <sighs> I can't just book a War Games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love War Games as much as the next person. But it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah. Uh... So this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? Actually, you may have a point. I do miss that. So let's screw the so-called rules and do this. Put yourself in it against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. <laughs> I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. Of course they are, Troy. I'm smart. Now what's up? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. They're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but... I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities, <laughs> no offense, but this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? I don't know why you think this is rocket science, Troy. Just have Becky and Bailey face each other. Winner gets the title opportunity. So easy, any capable WWE producer could think of it, which I guess you're not. Of course. I'll set it up. So sorry, boss. You're absolutely right. I'll do better next time. Really appreciate your guidance and support. <laughs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy.
Here comes five feet of fury. And she's got backup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio. Alexa Bliss! One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard-hitting, high-flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Well, rest assured, this superstar does not want to get on the bad side of Alexa Bliss because there's an unexpected darkness inside there. Friends turn enemies, partners turn foes. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross have a lot of history together. Our GM Cap continues to give us unexpected and exciting matchups. She's mixing up the formula so far, that's for sure. The hard part is doing it year round, but hey, two weeks down. Tilt the world, tilt the world into the small package. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Come on, Nikki Cross manages the counter. Driven down face first. And Nikki is getting the crowd going. Wrench in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. press and added damage. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. She bails in a hurry. She will wisely return to the ring now. There's a snap mare delivered and goes down low with the drop kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oof, effective drop kick to the face. The fatigue is setting in for her. Bliss's offensive wherewithal was on point. And Alexa's attack gets intercepted. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. What now? Oh, yikes, a stomp to the guts. Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. to the back. Grab in the arm. STO! They've got their opponent's arm. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Taking in the adulation from the adoring WWE Universe. Avoiding contact. Boom! 
right between the eyes. And that attack further tested Nikki's stamina. Yeah, as Bliss has absolutely no problem turning it on when the time comes. And two from the goddess with insult to injury. Alexa Bliss twisted Bliss. Does that finish Nikki off? Bliss uses all her fury to get this win. Losing like this would demoralize a normal superstar, but lucky for Nikki, she's far from normal. <laughs> Come to congratulate me on a successful show? Oh, I was just out back soaking in the success of the Alexa Nikki match. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match, and at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, Nobody really won, and we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM. So I'll be serving as special guest referee. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Mandy Rose! The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just gonna have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight.
Look out. Here comes the history maker, the man, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, you cannot understate what Lynch has meant to sports entertainment and to women everywhere. And the participants, first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The climb to greatness was filled with obstacles for Becky Lynch. She's earned everything she has and is always seeking new challenges to overcome. I have all the respect in the world for what Becky Lynch has accomplished. My question is, will we see someone knock her off the top of the mountain? A match against Bailey is opportunity. Ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face. the self-proclaimed role model. A proven role model. And from San Jose, California, Bailey! You know, Bailey claims that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest Super reigning SmackDown Bailey. women's champion in history at 379 days. Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. Well, you know what they say, guys. To be the man, you have to beat the man. And she's about to face the man. Not going to go down without the fight of her life tonight. Our general manager, the captain, promises that we'll have a number one contender by the end of this match. Will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough. And with she's got the shoulders down. Made it out of two. And okay, that count shows she's not bad at this ref thing. No funny business with that count. She just shoulders down. Fast count to get to three. That was utterly inexcusable. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Lynch beats Bailey. The man would have fought all night to win this match. You knew once Becky entered the ring, the man was pulling out all the stops. A lot of people thought Bailey's offense would be enough. And a lot of people were wrong. Well, that was something. Hey. <laughs> You were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. <sighs> Guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good wool follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe.
Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly, fair play. Glad we're okay. We are, and I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts. Especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You lost this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Good luck. I'm sure it'll be 
Interesting. The following contest is the Women's War Games Match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Cap wanted a war, and now she has one. Introducing first, from New York, Man! Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. The captain is ready to call the shots. Bailey is a ring general, ready for battle. And from San Jose, California, Bailey! Understand this, Bailey will deceive you. She will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that Women's World Championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack. War Games is a match with no rival. Two rooms, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to risk it all for the big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bayley as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving War Games. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Saw that one coming. Oh, man, what a strike! Oh, look at this here, arm wrench! Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Right to the leg. And a kick! And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's game plan isn't working how she wanted. Stop in the arm. Mounting a downed opponent, and look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. My goodness, came down like a hammer on that arm. 
The countdown hurtling towards a shift of the status quo. Uh-oh. Flapjack! Way up there. Stomping straight down on the arm. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Power slam incoming. No. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. The core buster. A quick reversal by Bailey. Blinged across the way was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. From behind, an inverted DDT. Not laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Big right hand. Into the reverse DDT. Caught in a bad position here. kick. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Kick! And seconds left before the odds are evened here. Hard stop! Double underhook. And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, kicks. Look out! Blood hole stomping. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Face first. Bring in the arm. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Ascending the War Games cage, no idea what her plan could be. Launching. Powerless position to be in right now. And able to beat Bailey to the punch. Point. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Cage opens and the strategy now has to be to take charge. Play the numbers game to your advantage now. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of this match. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. their opponent and we know what they're looking for here the surfboard is applied what what is it and she lets her out of the submission i don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey This won't win. She fights her way out of the armbar. Oh, from the top. Oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Rolls through with clever escape and a knee. Drop kick to the back. Clock counting down. A sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. Like a bat out of hell and about to even things up in war games. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage, but I have no earthly idea why. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. 
Not enough to just even the odds. She's searching for a tool to gain the advantage. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. And they're not going to go into this one without a little backup in their corner. To the back of the knee. Oh, Rose plan. Is Bailey closing this out? Impressive reversal there. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only back. Watch out. Waistlock takedown. Uh-oh. I don't like this idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. Dakota wards off the attack. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Roughly deposited into that unfruit. Uh-oh. She has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. Submission hold applied to the leg. Well, this isn't going to win the fight. Not sure why, but she releases the... Dakota Kai. Well, that'll be the beginning of the end. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. A couple of knees and then another one, and that'll force the break. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. Oh, look out. And here we go. From behind, and handle slam. Well, that sold this up for Becky. No way. Oh, for the love of God, from the top of the knee. The lights are dimming the sky. for one team and the taste of bitter defeat for the other. No way to sugarcoat it, gentlemen. This is about the toughest test you can face here in the WWE. And they passed it with flying colors. Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic
epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to rail the cage. Oh, into the side. And down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here. Fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight. What the hell was Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm gonna be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches, but forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case, based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announce War Games without me. That's my thing. I announce War Games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. 